Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we're gonna to be doing a little 4K video test with the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. We'll be testing out the front-facing camera and the rear-facing cameras at both 4K 30 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second to see just how good video quality is on this device. We'll be testing it out right now during the day, and then I will also be testing it out when the sun goes down, when it's nice and dark outside to see just how well the cameras perform at night as well. So let's go ahead and get this test started. And boom, we are now on the front facing camera recording at 4K 30 frames per second. I had to throw on my mask because more people are starting to show up here at the park. You know, I don't want to take any chances. But what do you guys think of the overall quality? Again, 4K 30 frames per second. I'll go ahead and pan around here a little bit. There we go. Here on the viewfinder, it's actually looking really good. But let's go ahead and check out stabilization. Also, let me know how well my voice is coming through the mics as well. And I'm not using anything special for this. Just a small handheld tripod. No special gimbal or anything. So let me know what you think about overall stabilization. There we go. I'm gonna pan around one more time. Again, 4K, 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K, 60. And just like that, we are now at 4K, 60 frames per second. Again, just doing a little walking here. Let me know what you think about stabilization. The overall smoothness of 60 frames per second. Me personally, I really like 4K 60 because of the smoothness of the video. And then if you want to slow it down to 30 frames per second, you get that nice slow motion effect. But let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of jogging here. There we go. Go and just walk a little bit more. Go ahead and pan around here. Get the sun directly in my face. Woo, that sun is bright. There we go, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead and switch it up to the rear facing camera. Okay, so we are now at 4K 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera, and I am actually doing this handheld. I went ahead and took my little tripod off of the device here, so this is all handheld. And the cool thing about recording at 4K 30 with the rear facing cameras is that you can actually switch between lenses. So if I wanted to zoom in a bit, I can use the telephoto lens. Look at that, and video stabilization is supported with all three lenses, and then the ultra wide angle lens. As easy as that. Let's go ahead and do a little jog with the ultra wide angle lens here to see how good stabilization is. There we go. Now it does look a little bit jumpy here in the viewfinder, but of course I'm gonna have to go back, watch the footage to see what it really looks like. But it looks really good when I'm just doing a nice slow motion like this. Let's go ahead and go to the main lens. And then we'll check out stabilization. Let's do another jog here. Again, all handheld. There we go. Let me know what you guys think. And also let me know how well the mics are picking up my voice when I'm behind the device like this recording with the rear facing camera. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, so here we are at 4K 60 frames per second. Again, let me know what you guys think. Really liking the overall smoothness of that 60 frames per second. Now, you can't use the ultra wide angle lens in this mode, it will not allow me to, but we are able to zoom out to three times and that is the most that it will allow us to zoom out to. But this is the main one times zoom lens right here. Let me see if I can get a close up on this. Look at that. Let's take a look at this wolf over here. Now let's go ahead and check out stabilization. So we'll go ahead and do a little jog here. Again, all handheld. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way. And there we are, 4K, 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and take a look at some low light footage. Woo! All right, so we have made it into the night. As you can see, the sun is now behind the mountains there. So we are back on the front facing camera, recording at 4K, 30 frames per second in a more low light situation. So we can see how well the cameras perform, you know, when there's basically no sun out here. So let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and do a steady jog here, all handheld. Woo, it's looking shaky in the viewfinder. Really curious to see what it's gonna look like when I'm done recording. There we are. Again, this is 4K, 30 frames per second on the front facing camera. I'll go ahead and do a nice steady walk here so we can see what stabilization is 
like when you know you're just doing a nice steady walk maybe you use your phone for vlogging and this is how you're going to be using it all the time and i am using it handheld once again let's go ahead and pan around one more time let's get that beautiful mountain in the back look at that looking good looking really good okay let's go ahead and switch it over to 4k 60 frames per second boom and just like that we are now recording at 4k 60 frames per second again doing just a nice steady walk here so we can check out stabilization look at this big christmas tree here in the back i really wish the lights were on right now so we could see what that would look like but unfortunately they do not have the lights on right now let's go ahead and do a nice steady jog here at 4k 60 frames per second all these people driving right here are probably looking at me like i'm nuts it's all right though doing it for you guys there we go go ahead and pan around and in case you're wondering where i am at right now i am in the beautiful palm springs california it is a beautiful night tonight but this is the front facing camera 4k 60 frames per second let's go and switch it over to the rear facing camera okay so we are now on the rear facing camera recording at 4k 30 frames per second checking out this cool water fountain we got right here look at that check out the beautiful clouds in the sky let's pan over to the mountain over here now I am seeing a little bit of glare right there on the lens not sure if you can notice it right there in the mountain now I did clean the lenses so not really sure why that's happening right there but so far looking pretty good here in the viewfinder let's go ahead and see what stabilization is at night again all handheld let's do this with the steady jog There we go. Let me go ahead and walk out to the street a little bit. See what that looks like. Go ahead and walk this way. Go ahead and pan down the street that way. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. Again, this is 4K 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, so taking it over to 4K 60 frames per second. Here it is, here it is. Let me know what you guys think. Not looking too bad here in the viewfinder. Really curious to see what it's gonna look like when I go back and watch the actual video. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check out stabilization. Let's do this. Got a little jog going on here. Now do keep in mind that I am still trying to hold the phone as steady as possible. This is all handheld. But you know, when you're running, you do you still wanna at least try to keep it as steady as you possibly can, even though we got that video stabilization there. Back to the water fountain here. Let's go ahead and go back out to the street and see what this looks like when we got, you know, a little bit more light around us. Still got that glare there from the lenses. Downtown Palm Springs, California. Looking beautiful at night. Look at the clouds. But there it is, this is 4K 60 frames per second. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so there you have it. A little 4K video test with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, I will be working on a full cinematic video, no talking or anything like that, just straight footage from this device. If that's something you wanna see, make sure you leave a huge thumbs up on this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, what do you guys think about the overall video quality of this device during the day, at night, at both 4K 30, 4K 60, with the front facing camera, just everything that I showed in this video. Let me know what you guys think overall. Again, if you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to leave a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. And I do wanna mention, that channel memberships are now available. You can join for as little as $1.99 a month. What it is, it's just a small donation so you can support the channel way more than you already do right now. And I already appreciate you guys so much just for watching my videos alone. But every little donation that you guys give every month through memberships will be even more appreciated because it will really help out the channel so I can be able to bring you more quality content. And there's different perks that come with them. You'll get to chat with me one-on-one -on, -one on Twitter. You can ask me anything, you'll get sneak peeks of upcoming videos and you'll also get your own channel membership badge so if that's something you're interested in just hit that join button right here right down there at the bottom of this video but again thank you guys so much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you on the next one peace out